Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series. With this series, we are going to learn about the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions of Microsoft Excel. And today, we are going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP function properly. VLOOKUP is an Excel function to look up and retrieve data from a specific column in table. VLOOKUP supports approximate and exact matching and wildcards for partial matches. The V stands for vertical lookup and H stands for horizontal lookup. Lookup values must appear in the first column of the table with lookup columns to the right. So here in this video we are going to learn it from beginning and get in touch with this channel because lookup series will be uploaded continuously. So watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritham and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. Here I have already created a data file previously to save time and we are going to use the OSK software that means the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. So in this video we are going to use the VLOOKUP function to get employee information in just a single click and we are going to use the drop down menu also to reduce the time. So if you want to retrieve employee information from a table and the data table contains a unique ID just like here to the left of the information you want to retrieve you can easily do that with the VLOOKUP function of Microsoft Excel. So in this data file we are going to find the first name into this cell last name into this cell and email id in this cell also. To get that we simply have to type the VLOOKUP formula like this equals to VLOOKUP then you have to select the lookup value and our lookup value will be found in the B4 cell. You can select or type the cell reference number here then you have to put a comma then here you have to select the table array. In my case, the table array will be from B8 to E12 as you can see here. Then you have to put a comma here. Then you have to give the column index number according to this table from B8 to E12. The first name will be in the second column, right? We have to give the column index number according to this table. So we have to put number 2 here then put a comma and we are going for the exact match function here. So we have to type number 0 here, close the bracket and simply hit the enter button. Look at here, it is showing an error because we did not give any details in this B4 cell which is our lookup value. So if we type any ID from here in this table, like I am typing 1, 2, 3, it will show as Steve this one. Right, so in this cell we have to type the formula repeatedly equals to VLOOKUP, look at here carefully, we again have to select the lookup value, and this one is my lookup value, put a comma, select the table array from this, then again put a comma, now in this case the last name is in the third column, right, then put a comma again and we are using the exact match option as range lookup then put the bracket close and hit the enter button look at here it is showing as Robert and again in this cell we have to type it I am skipping this video here so here we have found the exact email of ID number 123 and if we change the ID 456 it will show you the accurate result. So the interesting fact is this if we type 456 and accidentally if we type any space here or anything else it will show you error like this right. 
to get rid of this error we will use the drop down menu here you have to go to the data tab then you have to click on data validation then again data validation here you have to select the list from this option then in the source you have to select this one right then simply click on ok look at here it is showing an down arrow here in this cell if you click on this down arrow it will show you as the number here and then if you click on any of this it will show you the results right so let's check how this formula actually works in this case ID is a named range that is B4 which contains the lookup value and data is a named range that is B8 to E12 that is the data in the table the number 3 or number 2 that is included as column index number here it indicates the second or the third column in the table that is last name or the first name and false is supplied to force and exact match in exact match mode VLOOKUP will check every value in the first column of the supplied table for the lookup value if it finds an exact match VLOOKUP will return a value from the same row using the supplied column number if no exact match is found VLOOKUP will return the NA error note carefully friends it's important to require an exact match using false or zero for the last argument which is called range lookup otherwise VLOOKUP might return an incorrect result here an interesting fact is you can use another column here that is going to be the full name right then you can use the concatenate function I will discuss it with you later in my another video you have to simply type the formula like concatenate remember this spelling concatenate then you have to select the text one here as I'm going to select the text one as this one C4 then put a comma then open the double inverted comma put a space then again close the double inverted comma put a comma then select the text 3 then close the bracket and hit the enter button look at here it will show you the full name here as Anthony Gomes and if you select any other option it will show you the result accordingly so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video and learn something new about VLOOKUP formula share this video with your friend and share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned